Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create subtotal uh, for a particular data. First of all, what is the concept of subtotal? Subtotal means from the grand total, we want to find out the value of a particular value. For example, uh, this is a set of data containing of several columns and uh, many rows. Uh, the sales persons, the product, the number of units sold, the unit price, and total sale. So what I want to know is that how much biscuit has been sold or how much chocolate has been sold, how much uh, candy has been sold, or uh, how much product has been sold by Mr. Ali, Mr. Peter, and so on. So there are two ways in order to create subtotal. First of all, the manual way. The manual way is that you calculate by your own hand, which is very lengthy and uh, time consuming. The other way is that you use the Excel tricks and formula in order to use the subtotal or you use the subtotal from the Excel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the subtotal from Excel in order to uh, make the subtotal. First of all, you have to select the column that you want to create a subtotal. I want to create a subtotal based on the product column. I will select one of the cell and then uh, you have to go to tap home and you have to uh, sort it first of all this is the first step remember before you create subtotal you have to sort the column so uh, this has been sorted and now I go to the data tab and from there select the subtotal uh, based on which criteria you want to create subtotal here is uh, at each change in, at each change in product because I want to uh, create subtotal based on product. At each change in product, what should be done? The sum formula should be done. Sum from the total cell. Okay. As you can see that uh, there is a subtotal for biscuit after the biscuit finishes at the end of uh, this product there is a subtotal uh, a sum of $22,536 has been sold uh, the biscuit and after candy there is a subtotal which means uh, $13,302 has been sold from the candy and so on. Now I want to create a subtotal based on the salesperson. How much product has been sold by Ali, by Mr. Peter and so on. I, uh, so first of all I uh, remove the subtotal and at this time I want to create subtotal based on the salesperson. Remember you have to sort it first of all. And now, uh, again, you go to the uh, data tab and select the subtotal. This time, I want to create the subtotal based on the salesperson. After changes in the salesperson, there should be a sum, sum of the total sales. Okay. Now, as you can see that after the uh, Sell, sell uh, person Ali, there is a subtotal of Ali, it means a sum of $12,129.26 has been sold by Mr. Ali and Mr. Peter, Mr. Smith and so on. Now uh, there are three other keys, if you click on each of them it will show you three different value. If I click on one button, there is a grand total. It means the value of the uh, grand cell. If I click on number two, there is uh, the value of subtotal. Subtotal by Ali, how much product has been sold by Mr. Ali, by Mr. Peter Smith, and uh, finally there is a grand total. If I click on uh, number three, uh, there is the uh, whole data. Thank you for watching.